Hello, friends, and welcome to Figure Study, where we appreciate the form in Transformers. Today, taking a look at the Takara Legends Leo Prime, which is their repaint and very, very, very slight remolding, from what I can tell, of Alpha Trion from Titan's Return. And now I had an interest in this figure when I saw Alpha Trion, but then, like, a little while before I was like, I'm going to get Alpha Trion, I saw that Leo Prime was coming out, and I was just like, yeah, I, I think I'm going to wait. So, don't have Alpha Trion, but I have Leo Prime, and this guy is very neat. So, figured, start him off in his weakest of his three modes, which I honestly don't think is that weak. Um, the aircraft carrier is a bit weird. Like, it's kind of weird to go from robot to lion to aircraft carrier but it's not bad I mean like aside from the obvious hand here they did try and kind of give you like some texture here to kind of look like a little bit like it could be the side of a ship and then of course you've got the deck section which works just fine the big cannon that you can attach there which I'm just gonna pop that off for, for now you can see a little bit more of that and I like this kind of bridge section. I think that's really neat looking, like the just the way that this is kind of like the way the windows are organized and stuff. The the overall like I don't know. It kind of reminds me of like one of those space battleships that I've seen in countless animes that I don't actually watch but seek pictures of these giant battleships of all the time. It's got a nice look to it, and also there's the sword which. I, Think looks kind of silly hanging off to the side there but it's okay we'll get rid of that too yeah i mean it's it's a slab he just turns into a slab but i think it works as you know it, it overall works as a battleship and like even with the lion claws that you can see obviously there i mean they did do some nice molding in here to try and kind of you know if you're looking at it from the front it covers up some of that with like these mechanical details. Yeah. It's not... I've got a kitten off to the side again. It's not a bad, it's not a bad mode, honestly. I mean, it's, you know, it is his weakest, especially if you look at it from this angle. But, you know, I, I mean, I, I can appreciate its existence. And it's just, it's kind of fun that he's got this third weird little mode. I, I, as silly as it is, I like the fact that it doesn't really match the whole robot and lion thing. And I have to say that, like, the paint on this guy, which you don't really see too much of in this mode, but we'll see much more of in the other two modes, is fantastic. Just like this slightly bluish, silvery color here, just for, like, some added detail on the deck here, which is also nicely molded, because, you know, it's Titan's Return, so texture up the wazoo as I think I've said before and like just this nice little gold bits on the side here just, again not much in this mode that's as far as paint goes but I think that's okay because it's just a big ship deck and it works oh and of course gotta look at his titan master while we're in here so pop that open take the little fella out and this guy is cute. He's like a teeny tiny Optimus Prime. It's just super tiny. Very cute. And I can appreciate the fact that they actually bothered to paint stuff on him. Like the shoulders, the forearms, the legs, the face. It's even... It's like... It's hard to tell because he's so small, but I think they've got two little tiny yellow pinpricks of, uh, of color for his eyes on there. Which is... Very cool. So, yeah, this guy is a neat, neat little Titan Master all on his own. But, of course, that's just one of his three modes. We're going to take a look at the Lion next. Before we take a look at the Lion, we should do a size comparison, because I always forget to do that. So, yeah, there we go. And he's, a, you know, he's the same size as Alpha Trion, so if you have Alpha Trion, you know exactly how big this guy is. But if you don't, there you go. Now this is where things start getting interesting. Not a huge fan of some of the storage with this guy in his uh, alt modes. Like, 
that on top just kind of looks eh to me. But it is storage, whatever. But of course, you can just take that off so that it doesn't ruin the lovely shape of this lion mode. I do like, though, that the sword becomes the tail. I think that's some good bit of storage there. So yeah, the lion mode, I actually really like this lion mode. It's a really, like, pretty nice shape, the way that the, uh, the way that the legs kind of bend and, and it just shape-wise kind of blend into the rear part of the body. It looks really nice. It's a little weird that it, the lion looks like he's wearing baggy pants, but I can't complain too much. And of course, in the front, that's where all the the nice, really nice detail is. And this is something that kind of bothered me with Alpha Trion as much as it bothers me with Leo Prime here. I just, I don't like the horn. I kind of wish that they molded him slightly differently to get rid of that horn for Leo Prime. I mean, I don't know enough about Leo Prime to know if that's actually, like if it should have the horn or not, but I kind of wish it wasn't there. But other than that, like, the molding on this lion face is amazing. It looks so, so good. It's like sort of a mixture of organic and zoids. <laughs> and then, of course, you've got all this nice detail going throughout the rest of them. And even like little echoes of fur back here to kind of try and sort of tie the rest of it together, which is really nice. But then, you know, if you have a try on, you know all this. But the paint scheme on this is so good. There's just so much really nice gold paint everywhere for the claws and for these shoulders. And you can see again for like that, you know, battleship cockpit area there and just so much nice gold paint. And then you've got this red in the face, which is also really nice. It's a slightly lighter red than the plastic, which, you know, yeah, they couldn't color match it, but it's it's far enough removed from the rest of the red that you don't really notice that w that badly. And also I like the fact that, while I'm not a huge fan of this particular shade of blue mixed with that red, I like the fact that they went with like a darker color for the eyes so that you can actually notice the eyes when you're looking at them. It actually does help them to stand out. So yeah, um, but uh, the, the paint on this guy, I really like the paint on this guy. And also the fact that there are certain sections that they didn't paint. So it's just like, like the fact that they painted all of this, this really nice gold also helps these white bits to pop out more because of the fact they're not painted. And it just, it really helps me to appreciate a lot of these finer details, especially in the front section of the lion mode. The back mode, you know, not a whole lot going on. The back of the mode, I should say, not a lot going on, but still. The front is mostly where you're going to be looking, and the front looks whoop, the front looks really good, and then the rest of it is just kind of lion shape in the back, and I think as an overall form of a lion, this does look really nice. So yeah, I mean, again, this is all stuff that you get with Alpha Trion, but the color scheme, just that really, really nice bright white plastic with the really shiny gold and the red is such a nice color scheme. I really, really, really like that. And of course, let's get that size comparison. And there you go. Yeah, this is, this is really neat, but then still have one mode left. This guy, this guy looks great. <laughs> this is, this is so nice. Again, just that the red, white, and gold color scheme is so fantastic. And just the specific points that have been picked out are just really, really nice. The gold does blend in with the red a little bit shade-wise in the torso here. But I'm okay with that. Totally fine. Don't really care. It's just such a nice figure and such a really nice color scheme. There's like just enough little details here and there to really just, it, it like draws your eye everywhere. You've got like just the nice the gold toes and silver feet. The, the line that you get of red going straight from the torso down here. 
the really nice big shoulders that are this really wonderful mixture of white, gold, and red, which again, you know, the sides of the lion head, so they're really nicely detailed too. It's just, it's so, so nice. And the, ah, uh, just, <laughs> the shape is great. I mean, it's Alpha Trion, so the shape is the same as Alpha Trion, but I feel like, I think this bulked out shape works better for a version of Optimus Prime than it does for a guy who's supposed to be like an elderly Transformer. Um, but, you know, I'm not, I don't really know enough about Alpha Trion to say with any certainty whether that's, you know, I could just be talking out of my butt, but just based on the color schemes and the grumpy old man face, I think this shape fits better with Leo Prime than Alpha Trion. There's so many really nice details here. So much gold all over the place that I can appreciate. You got that, the darker gunmetal gray that's in the feet, but also the sword handle, and then also in the uh, little crotch plate here. And it's like lots and lots of really enjoyable color bits everywhere. I will say I subscribe to the MGO school of thought with regards to that triple barreled gun. I actually do like hanging it off the back here, so it kind of, I guess you could say, completes the look of the uh, skirt or loincloth or whatever. Plus, it just kind of keeps it out of the way. Because I think, you know, if he's wielding it as a gun, it, it looks a little bit awkward. I just, with just the sword, I think he looks fantastic. Yeah, he is so cool. And again, I love how just how really bright this white is. One thing that stinks, though, is he has a maximal symbol on his chest here, and it's off-center on mine. That's a little disappointing. Not that it's, you know, I don't care that much, and honestly, you can't really see it that well, because the silver isn't bright enough to really stand out from that red, which is also, I guess, kind of a bad thing, if, if you're thinking of it that way, but it is a little bit annoying that it's off-center. But it is cool that he has a Maxima logo. And then here we have, of course, the Leo Prime head, which is definitely Prime, but kind of a more hardcore Prime, which I'm totally cool with. And I like that that segmented faceplate. That looks really nice. He is very, very neat looking. And of course, you also have the, the uh, pop-up side thingies which it's weird. It's like the white and gold don't really do any favors when it comes to matching with the blue of the head. Bring him down a little more. Like the, the white and the gold don't really match, but they match the rest of the figure. So it's like it doesn't quite work, but at the same time it does if that makes any kind of sense. And in terms of just overall, I honestly kind of like them with the with the thingies sticking up. It's, I mean, you know, obviously you don't have to do it, but I kind of like it. it. Like it bulks out the head, but at the same time, because they're a different color, it doesn't necessarily make it look like his head is gigantic. In a way, you almost can kind of not see the white on the sides, and it more looks like he's got this gold crown kind of sticking off the top of his head. That may have actually been the intention. I don't know, but I think it works. I think it does work. And again, I really like this bulky look for an Optimus as opposed to a guy who's got a grumpy old man face. And the white, gold, and red is just a great color scheme. And he's got some really interesting details that I know Alpha Trion also had, but like I really like how you've got these line claws for the knee pads that are also kind of mirrored up here. There's just so many nice little details. But then again, it's... Well, okay, it's technically not Titan's Return, but, you know, it's... It is. And little details are kind of par for the course there. <laughs> yeah, this guy is very neat. And before I forget have our size comparison there and again he's you know he's the same size as alpha trion if you have alpha trion but the main difference is that head and the paint scheme as far as i can tell and that paint scheme is fantastic 
I was prepared to, like, when I first got him and started messing around with him, I was commenting on Twitter about how gorgeous he is in terms of, like, paint and all that. And I stand by that. But then I got my hands on the uh, Takara movie, the best version of Soundwave, which is a repaint of Human Alliance Soundwave that's, like, silver all over the place. And that, I think, trumps this in terms of just overall gorgeousness. But still, this is a beautiful figure. Beautiful paintwork, beautiful color scheme. Just all over fantastic. And, I mean, I don't know if you have Alpha Trion, if you're going to want another Alpha Trion that's just a different color. But if it's between this and Alpha Trion, get this, because this is really nice. Really, really, really nice. Great colors. Great overall looks, details. The transformations are easy and fun. And... I mean, I just, yeah. <laughs> I don't know a thing about Leo Prime, and I love this. So, you know, I imagine someone who's more into the character would actually get a lot more out of this. But anyway, that has been my look at the Takara Transformer Legends Leo Prime, who is repaint of Titan's Return Alpha Trion. And he is great. He is really, really great. You should get him if you're thinking about it. You know, just if you're thinking about it, do it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Any combination of those three would make me a happy Rob. And remember, art is more than meets the eye.